Jalen Hurd. Um, I, it, I it, and, and, and this is it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take one of yours or anything like that. But uh, no, it's all right. Third round pick. This team is not giving up on him. And and a third round pick is not something that's like, ah, he was just a third round pick. No, those are valuable. Those are very yes. valuable. Okay. And, you know, I've highlighted it here on Twitter. Terry Hi, McLaurin was on. So yeah. Terry McLaurin was on the board, and he took Jalen Hurd. Yep. Jalen Hurd has to work. There has yep. to be something. You have to show something now. And and I'm not talking about injuries, okay, because he could be healthy and not productive. That there's a mm-hmm. there's a world where that happens. He needs to show something. And 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 the progression needs to be there. And you need to figure out how they're gonna use him. And he and and you can't because for every fifth round gem, Kittle, Warner. These third round ones, they're gonna pile up. The problem is, yeah. is when you miss on a, th- and we talked about it, when you miss on a first or second or third rounder, the next year in the draft, you're backtracking to make up that loss. Yes, okay? you are. They, yeah, they literally could have taken anybody else at this point with Jalen Hurd. No disrespect to him at all. They yeah. literally could have taken anybody else and gotten something mm-hmm. out of that player. Something, not nothing, because right. all we've gotten out of Jalen Hurd is one quarter of action in a preseason game. That's right. Literally. That's it. And two so weeks of practice, if that. Right. And 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 when the 49ers didn't go out and address wide receiver three, right, they stood right in front of the camera and told you, we believe Jalen Hurd is going to be big for us. So they, they want this to work, and they need it to work because it is a third-round pick. I am interested to see where he's at right now, what he can contribute, and how they plan to utilize him. Look, I've mentioned that I, they plan to utilize him in the way that they 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 do with Chase Claypool in, in Pittsburgh, you know, with the way that they, they can move him around like a chess piece, give him push passes, try to throw those, those, uh, those 50-50 balls into the end zone. That's fine and all, but can you put it into actual games, and can you see production from it? That's going to be a huge question mark because this team desperately needs a wide receiver three to step up, no matter who it is, because God forbid one of these guys goes down, man. You don't have Kendrick Bourne to sit there anymore and be the reliable guy who will be on the field all the time. So they need one of these guys to step up. Yeah, and it seems like the Niners are really hoping and praying and wishing that it's Jalen Hurd, because if it's not, then it's Mohamed Sanu, who if I mean, you know, if the Niners cut him, he may not be on another team. And then if it's not him, it's Juwan Jennings, who was a seventh round pick and was on the practice squad last year, which means any other team in the league could have ha- put him on their 53 man roster. And they were like, no. Wasn't so, he injured last year? Like for the year, though? Like then they, they, they threw him on the IR mm-hmm. during practice on, uh, on, pra- uh, during the practice squad in practice in October, he got hurt. But he was available. Of course, he's a seventh round pick. I'm just saying. They clearly want Jalen Hurd to take this, and uh, they could have brought in Julio Jones. They could have brought in any number of people. A lot of people want him to draft a wide receiver, didn't. Because And why? Because they need Jalen Hurd to work out. They need him to work out. And if he doesn't, they're in a tough spot. Now they really need Muhammad Sanu to work out. And that's the third-round pick that you whiffed on. You know, yes. for every for every Brandon Ayuk, there's the Dante Pettis's and and the other guys who haven't worked out in certain rounds. And yeah. uh, you know, you don't want to add Jalen Hurd to that list because I see the vision, I see it, it's there. Mm-hmm. I understand exactly how devastating he could be to defenses, especially if everybody's healthy and you're and you're running those three receiver sets, or you you know maybe you're running four receiver sets with Debo Ayuk, Kittle, and and Jalen Hurd. How do you defend all of those guys, especially when? You know, what we know about Jalen Hurd is that he's a and, and he fits in the mold of the Debo Samuel type where get the ball yeah. in his hands and then get out of his way. He's a yards after the catch guy. Um, yeah. I'm just very interested to see where he goes from here. And the 49ers do need him to work right now because then you're talking about trying to rely on Travis Benjamin, or Richie James or or River Craycraft or, you know, maybe even going to kick the tires on Golden Tate or, you know, like now it puts you in a position where you have to kind of scramble. So your third round pick has to work this this training camp and you have to see progression from him, in my opinion. Yeah. And the vision for him was to be an integral part of the offense, like yep. someone who would not just be your number three receiver, but one of your running backs, too. When he was at Baylor, he ran the ball about 50 times in whatever, 12 games. He would, I'm sure he would get short yardage carries, goal line carries. He'd be an integral part of the red zone offense, like maybe even a bigger part than George Kittle. He would, his, the theory of Jalen Hurd is uh, that he would be very important to this team, but <laughs> let's see it. And I know He's anytime I can, what? Get, no, you got it. Anytime I put up a Jalen Hurd video, it, it does numbers. People are <laughs> dying to see this dude. Maybe it does numbers because he's such a, I don't know. 
So that's the thing. And and yeah. he and he is the absolute poster child of the positionless football that Kyle Shanahan wants to run. Line right. him up with tight end, line him up in the slot, line him up outside, line him up in the backfield, line him up at, at, at the fullback yeah. position, line him up anywhere. He can play anywhere. I get it 100%. And I do think that there's a lot of intrigue behind it. All accounts are that he's going to be healthy, ready to roll. I'm very interested to see how this plays out because they do need this pick to work out.